she became a household name and received several awards for her role in The Queen's Gambit. Yet Anya Taylor-Joy has revealed that she was suffering with burnout while filming the Netflix series, as it came right off the back of filming two movies. The actress, 25, spoke about her experience alongside a striking cover shoot for Tetler magazine. First up came filming the lead role in Autumn de Wilde's big screen adaptation of Emma, then after just one day off she began work on psychological horror last night in Soho before going straight into filming The Queen's Gambit. Anya recalled, I survived on Diet Coke, cigarettes and coffee, and by the end of it, I was like, I need to eat a vegetable. By the time she got round to filming the Netflix mini-series, Anya admitted she was in bed by 8pm every night, yet struggled with the fact she wanted to be out socializing and partying like her friends in their 20s. Anya mused, I don't have time to be a 25-year-old with a hangover. But am not someone who needs a drink to dance. Basically I've become very efficient at everything. I'm like what do I need out of this situation? I need to dance for a couple of hours, see my friends and have a good time, so I'm like right, let's bang it out. Out soon, see the full feature in the October issue of Tatler available September 2 then it's, go home, have a bath, get up for work. I sound mental, but that's what's working for me right now. Anya's hard work paid off, however, as she was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for her role in Emma, and won both a Golden Globe and SAG Award for her turn in The Queen's Gambit. Her next project, Last Night in Soho, is released in October and sees her star alongside Matt Smith. The film follows Eloise. Thomas in McKinsey, a young woman with a passion for fashion design and a strange sixth sense, mysteriously finds herself transported back in time to 1966 London in the body of her idol, a singer named Sandy, Anya. See the full feature in the October issue of Tatler available via digital download and newsstands on September 2nd.